Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Right, right, right. There's all kind of wickedness in the church. It's all kind of wickedness. Read that. That's how you keep the Sabbath. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Right. Six days shall thy labor. He said remember because we would forget how to keep the Sabbath. All right. Six days thou shalt work. Right. And do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it. In it. Thou shalt not do any work. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt not do any work. You're not supposed to work so, on the Sabbath. So, so Saturday is Sabbath, not Sunday. Right. If you pull out your calendar right now, when's the first day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. Sunday to Monday, one day, all the way on down. Friday, sundown to Saturday, sundown. So going to church on Sunday is incorrect. It's incorrect. Yes, sir. <laughs> White man taught you that, too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, right. no, we get it. We saying? get it. No, I don't think you do. I mean, like my grandma yeah. used to get me up every Sunday morning yeah. and well, take me to church. I mean, we all did it, bro. I mean, we all did pastors it. go to cemetery schools. We call them cemetery schools. They're seminary schools. It's right? only certain things. That but they, they get taught us. what? They get taught lies, and then they come and teach you the lie. And our people love to hear lies. We come and bring them the Bible, and they go, Nah, I don't want to deal with that. But we, in God, but you claim to believe in God. Love God. You love God. God love you. That's not true though. Our people, for the most part, they hate the Most High. I'm gonna be real with you, because you you love God by keeping the commandments. All right, now let's deal with Exodus 35 and three. No cooking. We done with that. So you ain't supposed to work on the Sabbath, right? Let's see what else. Are you supposed to? Yeah, are you supposed to shave or not? Nah? We'll deal with that too. You're not supposed to shave. I'm going to show you that. You shave too? Hell yeah. All right, look. That's a great question, bro. It's a great question. I already know what you got. Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. This is what else you're not supposed to do on the Sabbath, Joseph. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. What does that mean? You ain't supposed to like start fires like in your hair. Like no, no, no. If, if, think about it. If you, if you cold, and you out somewhere and got to start a fire to keep warm. That's not what that's talking about. What they said. Read it again. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Uh huh. So you're not supposed to kindle fire, meaning you're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. Oh, we're supposed to not eat you're at You're not all. supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. Let's get the proof. Go to the other scriptures. It's 16. Yeah. Here's the proof. Here, the Bible says you're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath, and then it gives you an answer as to what you're supposed to do. Right? In preparation for the Sabbath. Read. Exodus chapter 16, verse 22. And it came to pass that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread, two almonds for one man, and all the rulers of the congregation. Start at 23. 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. So tomorrow is the Sabbath, right? Watch this. Bake that which you will bake today. Uh huh. Meaning cook what you're going to cook today. And see that you will see. See means to boil, right? So it's saying cook what you're going to cook the day prior. And that which remained over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. And then the next day you eat what you saved for the next day. Right. So you cook before the sun goes down on Friday. You make sure you cook your nice meal or whatever. And then the next day you eat it on the Sabbath because you're not supposed what, to cook. What, what, that's King James. No, I'm saying like, oh, what book? That was uh, Exodus 16 and 23. Now, you're not supposed to work on the Sabbath, right? You're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath, right? And you're supposed to prepare for the Sabbath. Any food that you're going to cook before the Sabbath comes. What else? Nehemiah 10. You got it? Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Uh -huh. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. To what? To sell. To sell, which when Dixie is selling, right? Today on the Sabbath, right? Read. That we would not buy it of them. Joseph, you're not supposed to do what? We would not buy it of them uh -huh. on the Sabbath or on the holy day. See that? 
I'll tell you, chill out and kick y'all off the property, though. Huh? Oh, no, we good. We be here all the time. We good. We, we Listen, so you get that, Joseph? According to the scriptures, you ain't supposed to be buying on the Sabbath, bro. You neither. If you was planning on buying today, you got to wait till the sun go down. All right. I'm finna buy today. You, you already know you finna buy today? I mean, man. What sense does that make? So you know the laws. You know the laws. And then in the same breath, your question is, why God don't I mean, hear my prayers? I mean, no, I, mean, I know that I'm God don't hear my prayers. That's bro. why I don't pray. That's There's why I came shit. over here and asked you if you start a name and all but that. But what sense does it make, though? I know. That's you know what I'm saying? I came up here to ask you, like, what do I need to be watching for the vaccine? But you just told me that, like, I just need to keep the trust him. You yeah. got to trust in the Lord and to keep the commandments. Going, yeah, you got to keep the commandments. I'm giving you commandments. I gave you the dietary law. I gave you the law. The laws on the Sabbath. Okay, the brother went over with Joseph, the law of fringes, Numbers 1538. These are all laws that we got to keep. Oh, I don't know what that is. Let's read it. Numbers 1538. You keep Christmas? No. Y'all don't celebrate Christmas? You do? I mean, I, mean, I got a two-year-old but... son. I get him something, but that's a pagan so, holiday. So, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. stop, stop. Okay. Joseph, listen to yourself when you speak. You said, no, I don't celebrate Christmas. I know it's a pagan holiday, but I got a two-year-old son, and yeah, I get him a gift on that day. Yeah. So you're teaching your son to do evil. Man, it's not that. It's the to fact that at Christmas. the end of the day, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm all that, all that, all, all that Joseph. religious pressure. I'm not gonna throw it on my two-year-old son. No, 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 no. You ain't religion. about. You gotta be teaching your son right from wrong, Joseph. Yeah, you can't man. teach him to do I evil. Hear I hear you. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand. I mean, is it Proverbs 20? I mean, you gotta understand. Like, I, I, I do, I, I do what, what I've been taught. I mean, like. I can't, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know nothing about this, man. Joseph, watch this. And then get the other one, Jeremiah. 22, 13. Yeah. Watch this, Joseph. Huh? Proverbs chapter 22, verse 16. Come on. 22, 6. 22, yes, 22, 6. Thank you. Train up a child in the way he should go. Uh-huh. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. You supposed to train up your child. That's right. Because guess what your child going to do? Your child going to teach his son to keep Christmas. Right. And guess what excuse he going to give? Well, I know it's pagan, but, you know, it's for the kids, man. You teaching your son to do evil, you teaching your son death. Man. You understand that? It no. sounds bad, bro. It, it, it is bad. Yeah, it it's, is, you bro. can't teach your son to do evil, bro. Read Jeremiah. No. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 33. Hey, listen, you might not like it, bro. You know what I'm saying? But out of love... Correction is love, bro. We got to show you that you're doing wrong, bro. You understand what I'm saying? You can't teach your son that, bro. I got to understand, like I just told you. I'm about to be 32 years old. Like, I've learned a certain thing for certain. And in five minutes, you're telling me everything, you know, it meant nothing. You get blind. Listen, hold on, hold on, bro. What's your name, bro, again? I'm sorry. Keem. Keem, hold on, Keem, hold on. I'm bro, me, I'm let me sad. show him something. Hold on. Bro, you listen, King. Bro, I gotta dumb it down. No, 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 King. Listen to me, oh, King. You can't teach nobody because you don't keep the commandments. You can't teach nobody. You gotta get yourself together, and then you can come on this side and help teach your people. You understand what I'm saying? Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter two, verse thirty-three. Uh -huh. What trim his cattle? Thy way, thy way to seek love. Why trim your ways? You know right from wrong to seek love to 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 make your son happy, right? Therefore, has thou also taught the wicked ones thy way? See that? You're teaching your son a wicked way. You're not supposed to do that. What's the other one in Deuteronomy? Is it 6 and 7? Yeah. Get Deuteronomy 6 and 7. No, bro, you got to cut that off. If you know, that, and I'm going to deal with Christmas. I'm going to show you that Christmas is pagan because you made the statement. But I'm going to prove it to you in the scriptures. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. Come on. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. You hear that, Joseph? Thou shalt teach them. Thy children diligently, not make excuses. Come on. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, uh -huh. and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So you should be teaching your kids the commandments throughout the whole day. When you're waking up, when you're going to sleep, throughout the day you should be teaching them the laws. They got to be keeping the laws, bro. You can't teach your son the evil thing. You want your son to die when Christ returns? No. Okay then. That should be a, just as quick as you said no. You should be able to fix that, cause you don't want your son to die. Cause guess what? Yeah, we got better days than Christmas. I'm glad you brought that up. We got the feast of dedication. We got what they call Hanukkah. 
And guess what? We give gifts, right? We got the Feast of Purim. Yep. We give gifts on these days. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. You saying no, but the Most High gonna put you to death for it. But our job is to come I, out here and I'm warn being you. I'm honest with you. I'm not even a big holiday person, period. Like I said, my intent. Let's deal with Christmas. Y'all got a building? Of course we do. Yes, sir. We I'm do. I'm not a big holiday person, period. You're not a big holiday person, but nah, you teach your son I'm to keep not. it, though. All right. You see what I'm saying? If you say so. Yeah, no, you you said so. You said that. Jeremiah 10, let's deal with Christmas. He made the statement, it's a pagan holiday. Let's see if it is or not. Let's see if it's in the scripture. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Do what? Learn not the way of the heathen. Don't do what the heathens do. The heathens keep Christmas. We're not supposed to do that. We supposed to keep the Feast of Dedication, the Feast of Purim, right? The Feast of Tabernacles, huh? What we do on our holidays, like... We, we, we give gifts, we party, we dance, we do all that. We have a feast, we eat. Do we have, like, a certain day that we're supposed to do it, like... Of course, yeah. When you read Leviticus 23, it shows you the high holidays that we keep, including the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a, is a feast, too, all right? So it'll show you what days, if you come, to the school, we can teach you all that. Teach you what, how we keep it, what days we're supposed to keep it, and all that. All right? All right, read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, uh -huh. for the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh. For the customs of the people are vague. God says the customs of the people, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's that's coming up, God says it's vain, because it's, it's, it's not of him. For one cut is a tree out of the forest, uh -huh. the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So what, what uh, holiday they cut a tree out of the forest? Christmas, right? Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. When they get that tree, they deck it, right? Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. So back in this time, they didn't have the ones where you can just go to Walmart. You gonna answer your question. All right, you got a question? We dealing with Christmas. What's your name, bro? Hi, Joe. Joe, nice to meet you, Joe. I'm O'Ron. Right. We're dealing with Christmas right now. You celebrate Christmas? No. You don't? Okay. Does your family members do? Some of them do. Some of them yes. do, right? So, read it again from the top for Joe. For the customs of the people are vain. Call the scripture. No, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 3. Uh -huh. For the customs of the people are vain. They're lies, right? For one cut of the tree out of the forest, uh -huh. the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Right. They deck it with silver and with gold. Like the brother said, you get the tree out of the forest, you put it in the house, they deck it out, put ornaments and different stuff on it, right? And lights, right? Come on. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Back in the day, they had to fasten it with nails so that it wouldn't tip over. Today, you go to Walmart or Winn-Dixie, you get the tree, right, with the little stand that come with it, right? Read. Verse 5, they are upright as the palm tree, uh -huh. but speak not. But back then they used to be scared of it because it was an old Babylonian uh, deity. Right. You understand what I'm saying? They thought that if they didn't give gifts, that they would be put to death for it. You understand what I'm saying? Straight wickedness, straight idolatry. All right? Go to, uh, is that it on that? Go ahead. They must Nimrod. needs be born. Right. That the, the old deity was called Nimrod. All right. You can research it yourself. Read. They must needs be born uh -huh. because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them. Right. We used to be afraid if you didn't give gifts, right? The most I saying, don't be afraid of other gods. For they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. Neither is it in them to do good. Right? So Christmas is now, now it's changed. Today we call it Christmas. Right. Back, Saturday night, right? Sat, there you go. All praise right. school used to be called Saturday. This brother knows. <laughs> he knows that. But the problem is he'll teach his son that it's okay by giving him a gift. Go, you got something you want me to read? Okay. Go to Sirach 20 and find me the scripture, a gift uh, destroyed. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that was this is, this is the book of Esther. Chapter 9, verse 22. Now watch this. It's, this is, this it's, it's is about, so... It's about the two days of Purim are made festivals. So remember, you asked the question, like, how what what, what high holy days we got? What, what days we supposed to keep? He about to read about Purim. Go ahead. Purim. Not, uh, Esther chapter 9, verse 22. As the days were in, in the, 30s. the Jews rested from their enemies. Uh-huh. And the month which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy and from mourning into a good day. Right. 
that they should make them days of feasting uh -huh. and joy uh -huh. and of sending portions one, one to, to another, another. Come on. And gifts and what? And gifts uh -huh. to the poor. And to the poor. So we give gifts on the day of Purim. You understand what I'm saying? That's scriptural. Everything we do is Bible based. We don't keep no white man feast. Right. The white man tells you it's okay to keep the feast and we do it. Right. We don't do that. If, if God don't say it, we don't do it. Right. We, what you got? Sirach or Ecclesiastes, chapter 20, verse 29. Uh -huh. Presents and gifts right. line the eyes of the wise. Read that again. Presents and gifts line the eyes of the wise. Because you wise enough to know that it's from Saturnalia. You wise enough to know that it's evil. You right. wise enough to know that. But it says presents and gifts. You do it for the kids. Right. And you're saying it's for my children. Presents and gifts blind the wise. Right. Read. And stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. You see that? And he stopped up the mouth that we can't correct you. Right. When it's time to correct you, you don't want to hear it. Right. Oh, man, it's too much, man. I don't know what to do. Bruh, the scripture says make haste. Is that, that was it on that? Yes. That was it on that. Go to uh, Sirach 5. How long y'all gonna be up here? We're gonna be up here for a minute, right? Yeah, yeah we're gonna be up here for a minute. I'm gonna let the next brother tell. I'm gonna answer your question. I wanna deal with this Christmas stuff. Okay, read what you got. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse seven. Uh-huh. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Right, so us being oppressed as a nation of people makes us mad, right? Cause we don't know which way to turn, right? Read. And a gift destroys the heart. Say that again. And a gift destroys the heart. You see that? But a gift will destroy the heart. Why? Because it'll blind the wise. It'll blind the wise. Sirach 5. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. This for you Joseph and this for you too bro. Cause you know better too. And you know that God ain't hearing your prayers because you're in the midst of sin and you'll say I'm gonna buy it today anyway. I already know I'm, I'm finna buy it today. That's evil as hell. Watch this though. I'm gonna read this to you. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. What does make no tarrying mean? Don't wait. Don't take your time when turning back to the Lord, meaning keep the commandments. Right. Make haste to turn back to the Lord. Read. And put not off from day to day. Don't put it off from day to day. Come on. For suddenly, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the wrath of the Lord comes. You driving and you get into a car accident. You got to get your legs cut off now. That's the wrath of the Lord. You smoke. You smoke. You smoke. You get cancer. Right? Now you're in the hospital. I just seen a brother over there talking with one of those things on his throat. You know what I'm talking about? When they cut your box out, your voice box out, more than likely it's from smoking cigarettes. Smoking weed. Weed is five times, has five times the carcinogens, right? Carcinogens, I said that wrong. Carcinogens than cigarettes. Right. But people go, it's from the earth, man. Well, nicotine's from the earth too. Right. <laughs> right? Heroin. <laughs> right? Cocaine's from the earth too. We might as right. well start sniffing powder too then. <laughs> it comes from a leaf. Our people are destroyed mentally, man. Right. Crazy destroyed to be to have a mindset like that. I asked a sister last week or the week before last. She was smoking a cigarette out here when we were talking to her. If I told you you was going to get cancer in six months and die, would you stop smoking? No. You would still keep smoking? I wouldn't believe Damn. Well, you know what's lined up for you then, bro. Death is lined up for you. All right, you want the next brother to come up? All right, come up, Judah. Wait, let me finish my scripture. Let me finish my scripture. Read that. Sirach, chapter you. 5, verse 7. Uh -huh. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. Uh -huh. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security... When you think everything is cool, bro. Thou shalt be destroyed, uh -huh. and perish in the day of vengeance. And perish in the day of vengeance. You don't want that to be you, bro. You might not fear the physical death right here today, but the torment that you're going to get... Your soul, your spirit. Right. That's what you got to be afraid of, bro. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>